Are you still using sticky notes on your monitors just here? If that's you, put your hand up or press the like button. Now, we don't want anyone to use sticky notes to be fair, because somebody will pick them up, put them in the bin, or they're full when somebody you know cleans their desk and you'll lose some information, whether it's a password like Jimmy Jimmy one or Usain Bolt nine or eight as one gold medal had been taken away or Timmy 12 because he, Timmy was born in December. Now that's one reason why we don't want you to have sticky notes on your monitor because somebody's just going to try that password and log in as you. So please don't do it. By the time you've logged into a computer 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, you should know you, you should remember your password by then. But more importantly, sticky notes mean that you don't have paperwork lying around. It means your desk is looks tidier and you can just see that information on your computer. Now, a load of you might have a notepad file with lots of information, but even that can get a bit messy. You know, you want things with pictures, colors, different text sizes, so that it's more memorable. You know, so you know all the green ones are your shopping list. All the yellow ones are things you have to do this week. Um, all the pink ones are for your daughter and all your blue ones are for your son, for example. So having different colors benefits you. Now, one problem with sticky notes is that there used to be a situation where if you closed the sticky note, it was deleted. That happened a few years ago. And where did that sticky note go? It must be a file somewhere. And yes, it was. It was saved in a technical place um, called App Data Roaming Microsoft Sticky Notes. Now, that's great if you can remember all of that, but if you can't, you need somebody else to help you. Now, the process is a lot, lot simpler. You just need to log in to Sticky Notes with your Microsoft account. It can be an Office 365 account. It could just be a, an Outlook.com email address. It could be a Google account as long as it's linked to a Microsoft account. So all you have to do is log in to Sticky Notes, which we will show you some screenshots just here to make it simple. And what happens is when you sign in, you can create a new Sticky Note by clicking on the plus button in the top corner. Then utilizing that, you can create multiple sticky notes. So we created a test, another test, etc., um, and we changed the color of the sticky notes. Uh, then what we did was we deleted a sticky note just to prove the point. And as you will see, just up here, if I can get it in the right place, what you see is that the sticky note is on your email account, your Microsoft account, etc., across the left hand side. Now, a lot of these screenshots are utilizing dark mode, which is quite handy given that we've got a light background behind us. And if you delete a sticky note, all that happens is it will go to the recycle bin. And as you will see from our next screenshot, it shows the person as unknown. So all you have to do is search unknown for all your sticky notes from your deleted items. And you can just click on the item, restore it, and within 30 seconds, a minute, you've got it back. You can then 
edit the sticky note on your computer, or even edit it online. And the other benefit is you could use this across multiple computers. So not just emailing yourself stuff, you know, these sticky notes can just be opened across multiple Windows 10 computers, hopefully Windows 8 as well later on. Um, but you won't have that worry that you've lost the information. So if you want to have a simple method of having quick notes and you don't want to have document files, then utilize sticky notes, but electronically, because the paper kind go missing, they're gone forever. You're not going to see what they are again when you go to another place. And the other benefit with sticky notes is that if you have it set up on your phone, you can carry on from where you left off there as well. So it could just be a quick reminder to yourself, you know, grab some milk, grab some bread um, before you get home from work. Simple as that. So if you found this use video useful, please share it with a friend. And there's more useful content on our channel. So click on subscribe to find out those other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.